Good afternoon, YouTube friends. Thanks so much for coming by. Today we are making some spicy stuffed bell peppers with a pinto bean stuffing that you can use all week long for all sorts of recipes. It's the perfect meal prep ingredient. Keep on watching to see how to make it. Okay guys, first things first, we're gonna get our pinto beans soaking. I have got one cup of dried pinto beans here that I'm going to soak in my fridge overnight in some water. I'm just gonna pour about three inches above the pinto beans and pop it in the fridge overnight. I'd soak them for at least four hours, but overnight is ideal. You can of course skip this entire step and move straight to canned pinto beans if you prefer. They work just as fine. I just really love having these on hand. It's way less expensive and you can control how much sodium is going into your dishes. So this is what the right side just barely got the water added. The left side has been soaking overnight. The water gets a little bit cloudy as the beans expand and absorb all that water. So I'm just draining them out here. And see what they look like they get about double in size i'd say and i'm just going to rinse them a little bit here okay once we've drained and rinsed our pinto beans we're just going to dump them into this saucepan here and i'm going to pour some water in we're going to go about two inches over the beans just so there's plenty of water to get absorbed and to cook those beans nice and thoroughly once we've got our water added in here, we're just going to plop in one veggie bouillon cube. I use the not chicken ones that I talk about all the time. Added one of those, and then I'm going to add half of this fresh jalapeno just to give a little bit of spice to the beans. It really doesn't spice it up too much, but feel free to omit the jalapeno if you're looking for a little less heat, or you can even use half the amount. Then once all our ingredients are in here, we're going to bring these beans to a boil. And then once they're at a boil, we're gonna put them down to a simmer and add a lid. Note, this lid is way too big for the saucepan, but we're making it work, it'll do. So that's what those beans look like after about an hour and a half of simmering. They're nice and tender and ready to go. I'm just gonna drain off the excess liquid and that's what she looks like there. I've turned the heat off on our hot plate, but I'm letting the pan sit on there to cool down just to let any of that excess juice evaporate off so our beans aren't super runny. Once we're cooled down just a little bit, I'm going to add the rest of our ingredients. I've got here a full can of organic sweet corn. Just gonna dump that whole thing in there. I'm also gonna add some seasoning. I have got a half a tablespoon of cumin, a teaspoon of roasted red pepper flakes, and a teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt. Then I'm also going to add seven ounces of diced green chili peppers, just the canned type. Juice and all. And while our beans were cooking away, I just took a half of this white onion and two garlic cloves, sauteed them in a bit of olive oil until they're nice and soft and just a little bit browned. And now I'm gonna add those to the mixture as well. And then we're gonna get real technical here with our handy dandy potato masher and we're just gonna mix around and mash up all these ingredients. The point is to just get our pinto beans a little bit more mashed like a refried bean and you can mash as much or as little as you'd like. I tend to like to have a little bit of a bean chunk just for more texture, but keep mashing as long as you want. It's totally up to you. It's obviously gonna be a bit chunky because of the corn and the chilies and everything. So mash until you don't feel like mashing anymore. So this recipe was actually inspired by a recipe that Steve made me for Valentine's Day. He made us flautas out of the Thug Kitchen cookbook. I'll link below and show you a picture of their cookbook. They have some fabulous recipes and this was inspired by one of them. Super good. And when we ate them, we both thought, you know what? This is like the perfect meal prep ingredient because you can make about a thousand different things from it. It's really got a ton of fiber. There's protein in there. You can mix in or take out whatever you like. So for tradition's sake, here's how you make a flauta. You can use any kind of 
tortilla. Steve found me these carb balanced tortillas that I've never tried before from Smith's and they're really good calorie wise, carb wise, and protein wise. So I really like them and recommend them if you're looking to have some sort of carb but not go crazy. So you just fill it as much as you'd like with the filling. Uh, Steve adds some cheese to his. I sometimes will add my um, soy curls or something along those lines. I'll show you those in the next recipe. But whatever you're feeling, roll it up and we're gonna bake them and then flip them halfway through. I will show you as we go. And they're nice and crispy. They're like a taquito, but more substantial and less fried, which is awesome. <laughs> My next favorite thing that you can do with these beans is of course a taco salad, super simple, on top of some romaine with some lime and salsa and guacamole. Really hits that um, hearty, craving without being crazy calorie wise, which I love. But then my next favorite, which I'm going to show you right now, I hope, <laughs> are stuffed peppers. And they just are beautiful and super simple to do. So I'm just gonna take, I found these orange bell peppers. I'm cutting them in half and I'm going to stuff them with this stuffing and we're gonna bake them together with our flauta. So I'm just gonna fill it all the way full. And a, a little semi-pro tip, if you've got these little peppers that won't quite sit right, you can make a little bed for them out of tin foil, and that way you can cook the whole pepper still. So I'm making kind of like a little halo out of tin foil. I promise I will show you. I think I'm actually making the, the strip here. Ah, there we go. So I'm just making a little circle here for it to lay in so it can cook evenly and not dump out. So I'm gonna do that with both halves and we're gonna pop them in the oven at 375 degrees. I'm spraying the flauta with a little bit of nonstick canola spray just so we can get nice and crispy. I also forgot to do the other side, so I'm spraying the other side. Make sure that when you bake it, you start with the folded side down because then it'll kind of seal upon itself and you won't have a mess. So I'm popping those in the oven. I've flipped my flauta and I'm pulling it out. The peppers are still cooking for a little while, but I will also link below, obviously, all the cooking times and everything for you. So that's what that flauta looks like. So yummy, it's a perfect little snack. You can make these ahead of time and just bake them or even microwave them as you'd like them. They're awesome. And then look at these beauties here. These have been in the oven for about 25 minutes until our peppers are just a little bit al dente. I'm adding these soy curls as well to get a little bit of protein. These are amazing in my Super Bowl buffalo chicken recipe, I show you how to soak them. Really easy to do, I'll link that below. They're a great source of protein, hardly any fat, and the texture is amazing. It really is a nice hearty texture, very chicken-like. I highly recommend you get them. I'll link below how you can get them on Amazon because I've never actually been able to find them in the store before. So I'm just garnishing them up with these soy curls. And then I'm going to add some salsa and some lime and some avocado. And we have got ourselves a serious, delicious, locale meal prepped meal. You can also make these peppers ahead of time and just throw them in the microwave if you need to take them to work. Or if you just wanna have your dinner ready for your family and just pop them in the oven when you're ready or in the microwave as you need them. It's really, really simple. And there you have it. We've got spicy pinto beans a couple different ways. And of course, there are endless other ways to eat these pinto beans. They're super good for you. Really delicious. Let me know if you're interested in seeing more meal prep ideas. I'd love to share more things with you. I so appreciate you watching. I will talk to you soon. Have a great week, guys. Cheers.